Hi, I'm Ben from Billy Talent. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Ian. I'm John. The album title, Afraid of Heights, is uh, kind of the theme of the record. And uh, it's a, about us, you know, as a people being afraid of uh, lots of things and, and afraid of progress and, and afraid of change. And, and uh, you know, some people are and some people aren't. And uh, a lot of the songs uh, kind of reflect fears in general. Igor uh, Hofbauer uh, was a, uh, a fellow that we found in one of Ian's books he had of all different rock posters, and he was a guy out of uh, Zagreb, Croatia. And we loved his stuff, and it kind of fit exactly with everything that we were, we were thinking about, and so we reached out to him, but it took us like about three weeks to even find the fella. He's a comic book illustrator, uh, traditionally. So for him to you know do this, he's never done yeah, anything like this before. Right. Yeah. But he's got a very strong uh, sense of his style. Is is it? It's almost a th goes back to like Russian propaganda art, which is what we discussed and yeah. wanted for this record. Some of the best that I saw were just like uh, uh, people that did like bands that actually wrote songs using the lyrics, right? So, and hearing the different melodies and the different things that they came up with. And some of the songs were like really, really good. And you could tell that the people put a lot of effort into it. We had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of submissions. And so it's been, it's been a really, really cool thing to see. And I think it's also nice for people to be able to show, like if they're a painter or if they're uh, an illustrator and if they've never really showcased their art before, it was a really nice thing to have like-minded people kind of seeing like the, the community that grew and people were like encouraging and complimenting each other's work. It, it gives you like a platform for maybe the first time to showcase your stuff. So it was, it was really special, really, really special. I think it comes from everywhere. Everyone, you know, people around you, loved ones, friends, from things that are happening uh, in the news. I mean, you can find inspiration anywhere, but... Uh, it generally just comes to you. If there's something that really irks you or, or makes you feel something, uh, makes you feel, then you end up writing about it. Back in the day, that was uh, like the measuring stick was album sales, right? So that's where you could gauge how well you've done. But nowadays, no one buys records anymore, you know? So it's, it's kind of like an archaic, system to try to, you know, uh, equate using that algorithm doesn't make sense anymore. So for us, we just want to make as many fans as we can and to share the music with as many people and hopefully, like Ian's saying, hopefully connect with people and, you know, hopefully our, our fans now will love the record and hopefully we'll make some new fans as well. It's not about charts or, or things like that anymore, really. I think there's... Because there, there's so, I mean, like rock had one of the biggest attendance years for live shows last year, but it's not getting played on the mainstream charts. So, yeah. so it just show, goes to show you right there that uh, there's real no, really no measurement for success. Yeah, in terms of standard, like you were talking about the standard of the album. This guy's. I get the phone and all these. <laughs> We, we have our own standard that we, we want to meet in terms of like the quality of our, our, of our playing and, and Ian has his, his standard of songwriting and production that's, that's extremely high. So we're, we're, we kind of keep it internal in a way. Yeah.